G'day, Martin Eastwood here from Card Access in Draper, Utah. I'd like to take a moment today and talk to you about motion sensors. There are many types of technologies for motion sensors, but at Card Access we use passive infrared, or PIR. These are devices that are pyroelectric and can pick up small amounts of heat emitted from objects. And since humans, like us, give off heat, it can detect motion of humans. So the key to the operation of this type of sensor is that it detects heat as it moves from one zone to another. As long as I stay inside one zone though and move around, I won't be detected. The same is true if I only have a few zones that covers the area that I'm trying to detect motion in. If I move closer to the sensor, I can easily, more easily cross those zone lines but as I move further away, because the areas grow larger, it's more difficult for me to cross those zones and therefore motion detection becomes unreliable. Let's take a look at the ceiling mount motion sensor. It has a lens that covers 360 degrees. It also has a quad window PIR instead of a dual window like the wall mount sensor. This is designed to help you monitor a full circle instead of an arc. You'll also notice that the ceiling mount motion sensor zones crisscross so it can effectively detect motion from all directions. So how do you get more zones and better motion detection? Well, that's where the card access motion sensor lens comes in. It's made of a material that doesn't look very clear to visible light, but it is transparent to infrared light. Also, notice on the lens that there are lots of sections to it, and you'll notice that these zones go up and down the lens as well. This gives good motion sensing resolution both horizontally and vertically. Kind of reminds me of a housefly's eye. And if you've ever tried to sneak up on a fly, you know how good their motion detection is. Your customers may want to know why the motion sensor's lens is so large and curved. Well, the analogy I like to use is to compare camera lenses. Take a look at your smartphone camera. You can take a good picture with that. But if you really want a wide area and a great picture, you want a camera with a lens like this. So here's what the picture looks like from a regular lens on a smartphone camera, and here's a great picture from a wide angle quality lens. As I said, there are many different types of motion sensing technology, but the reason why Card Access chose to use the passive infrared was because it's a low power device. We wanted to make sure that our motion sensor would last a long time on a common battery, not something exotic or hard to find, something like the 9 volt battery that you use in your smoke detector. So in order to get up to two years of battery life from a 9 volt battery, we included some special under the hood circuitry. We also included some special timing and DSP algorithms. This not only improved our battery life, but increased our sensitivity while also reducing false triggers that you normally get at higher sensitivity settings. The motion sensor Zigbee radio is also fine tuned for long battery life. It has a larger onboard antenna for excellent radio range. There's also an external antenna version for those special cases when you need to put the sensor a long distance away from the Zigbee mesh. Like on a storage shed, it's a pretty powerful little thing. When we designed this sensor, we thought of including other sensors like light, temperature, and even humidity. It is very tempting to include many features, but you often end up with something like an egg-laying milk pig Sounds great for breakfast, but you have to kill the pig to get the bacon. You see, airflow around a PIR sensor affects its sensitivity, which is why we seal the housing of our motion detector. However, to get good temperature and humidity performance, you need some airflow inside the sensor housing. The PIR and the temperature and humidity sensors fight each other. That's what we engineers call stupid. Also, the more sensors you add, the more power it takes, sometimes a lot more power and that significantly reduces your battery life. However, the light sensor made sense to add because it is compatible with the PIR and it can be turned off so it doesn't reduce your battery life. We included one inside our card access wireless motion sensor. Well, I hope this helps you understand why you and your customers are better off using a tried and true motion sensor design by card access. In my opinion, if you use anything else in your control for installations, you're crazy. Just remember, if it's not made by card access, then somebody else made it.